Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tay Nails and today's video is about these nails. I love them. Um, gorgeous. I outdone myself this time. And the pink polish is the Born Pretty um, gel polish. So you can go back maybe three videos, three or four videos and you will see the swatches for that uh, gel polish set and the cow print the colors that um the different colors i i use nail powder and i am so impressed um with myself i love them i well i love every set that i create but thank you and i hope everyone loves the set as well please like comment and subscribe and share my videos with your friends and family. Bye everyone. So this is the brand I'm using is Canon. Um, I purchased this from AliExpress. So I'm um, doing like a, a white uh, polish on my nails. And that's for basically for the design. For the cow print design. So I did three coats of this white and I I did the white on this hand I did the the middle finger and the ring finger with white and this is me doing the second coat and I'm doing the third coat right here. And I did everything else offline, off camera. All the prep, nail prep and everything. So I'm doing the ring finger with um, white, my first coat. I'm starting to like it so far. Very pretty. And I am a little slower because I I like to make sure um, everything, the polish is not on my cuticles and everything. So. so I'm doing my second coat and I did the third coat off camera. So this is the nail powder, the colors I'm using, pink, blue, a green, and orange. And doing this pigment um, powder or nail powder, um, you have to make sure it's a tacky layer on your nails because if not, it won't stick. So, what I did was um, the tacky layer from me polishing with the white. I never wiped it off with any um, alcohol, the 90% alcohol that you use for a gel polish. So, I'm doing, and on this, I just did little dots everywhere. So, that. I'm doing the orange dots and I just peeked wherever and just dot it and you can use um, different brushes I just use what was um, included in the, the little kit that I purchased so I'm doing the blue and I'm just dotting around different little areas of the nail and this was very easy it didn't take long doing this set of nails I did it the day before I went out of town so well the night before I went out of town so I'm doing the pink and just dotting everywhere
so very pretty. And just making sure I have enough pink on my nail. Making sure. So. So now I'm going in with the green. And I should have picked a darker green because this, this was a lighter green, but it still showed up. But next time when I do this type of design, I'm going to pick a darker, make sure I pick darker colors. So this is me wiping off the excess powder. And now I'm going in with my dotting tool. So I'm going in with just some, I did, I think I used base coat, uh, base gel coat. So I'm just going in making just different, um, different cow print designs. Um, just making sure I catch all the colors in the, um, in the design. So. Just going around and it's kind of hard to tell to make sure what you um, making sure that you got different little areas so you basically um, will have to um, just try to tell what area that you feeling in and is no right or wrong to this um, if you don't have enough um, areas you can always try to uh, add more or doing your design your cow print design so this this is me turning my finger around to so I can see if I put enough gel clear gel on the areas for the cow print design and I'm sorry that I was um, out of the camera just trying to check to make sure I had enough enough clear gel in different areas. So this is me wiping the excess powder after I cured um, the gel in my LED lamp. So and I'm using the 90% alcohol to uh, remove the powder. So this is the result. So I'm going in with some black gel polish and I'm this is uh, making the cow print design and it's like I said it's no right or wrong so um, be creative and even though the spots that you don't see any any nail powder you can always cover that up with um, the little cow print. Um, so you can put different little dots and squiggly lines. So it's no wrong way. It's just whatever, whatever works for you. So it's very simple, very easy. So I'm filling in different areas around the and then all the white just put some different little designs dots very pretty I love this design something different Very pretty. So I'm just going around filling in areas that I see that is still some open white spaces. So 
So this is the finish on the middle finger. So I'm going in doing the ring finger. And this is the same process. Just make sure you have a tacky layer and just just dot everywhere. Um, put your nail powder wherever area blend them in together so and it doesn't matter what color it doesn't matter what color you start off with so I just start off with the orange and the blue so whatever color that um, you want to start off with just go for it so that's me dotting the blue and just finding different little areas to to add the blue to and I'm doing the pink very pretty I think that the middle finger turned out so pretty I love I love this design and you can always do this with gel polish you can make this same design with gel polish so um, you can just be creative so very pretty so going in with the green and you can use how many colors you want to use I could have added a yellow to it I could have um, added different other colors to this so just be creative so so pretty I'm just making sure I have a lot of the green added to it so pretty so just going around making sure different spots so I'm taking my duster to dust off all the excess powder before you use the clear gel polish so sorry for being off the camera so this is I'm using the clear gel polish now making little different little circles or any type of design as long as it just look you can make um, you can make it as big as you want just make sure you have enough room that you can um, it's a little space out um, you can make them smaller it, however you want to create it So, making sure I get every area, I get the side areas. Very pretty. And you don't have to use a dotting tool. I use a dotting tool um, it just was more convenient for me um, you might can use a thin brush but you don't want to uh, press so hard on it and it'll remove some of the powder so the reason why I use a dotting tool that I don't have to press down hard on uh, applying the the gel polish so I'm turning my so I can see it to make sure I I have all the areas so I'm wiping away 
with my 90% alcohol. So this is the result. So I'm doing my black gel polish. And see, this is very easy, very quick, very simple. So it shouldn't take you long to to do this set. Very pretty. And see if you look at some of the shapes on. Um, I just did like little circles or not even more circles just any just so it can look like a cow print so um including the different little little dots little lines in between the white spaces So very pretty. I love all the different colors. Very pretty. So when every time I lift up my my hand is me um so I can see to make sure. So I'm using the Born Pretty um, pink. And I don't remember the number offhand, but I will have the number in the description box. So check that. So it's so gorgeous. I love it. I love it. And I was... I was thinking about doing like an orange, but I was like, let me go with this, this pink. And it's more like a pink fuchsia color. So, so I think it blended together. I think it all, it worked together. The colors all work together. So, and I'm doing the first coat on all the nails now. So I did two coats because this was very pigment so i didn't have to do that many coats so i really could have went with just one coat but i did two coats to be for show so i'm doing the first coat on my thumb very easy and it didn't take that uh only time that it took on me prepping um adding the nails and you know just prepping my nails but just doing the whole set it didn't take no time so and i literally did this the night before i went out of town i left and went out of town the next morning at around seven so i literally did it the night before i recorded and everything so this was very easy and simple so i think um and if you like it you can always recreate it with different other colors um these are the colors that I use, so you can always use different colors. Very pretty. So this is the second coat. And you can see with that first coat, it really um I didn't really have to go in with a second coat. Very pretty. And 
and this is the uh, gel top coat that I use and I only did one coat with the gel top coat so very pretty And sorry for the, I had to reposition. So, very pretty. I love it. I love this set. Very pretty. And you can um, you can use uh, whatever top coat of your choice. Um, I have several top coats, so um, sometimes I mix up um, using different ones. So it just depends on how I'm feeling and which one I grab for um, that day. So. So, but I do like the ones that shine. I love a shiny top coat. So, so this is the finish. Oh, so gorgeous. I love it. So, I hope everyone um, loves my nails as much as I do. Thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. And share my channel to all your friends and family. Um, come back. I will have another video uploaded soon. Bye everyone.